There's been a lot of misconceptions, rumors, and outright lies about the new kid on the EUC block, the 50S battery. It's time to completely put them out of their misery and kill these rumors right now. There are some people that are saying that these batteries tend to run hot, or the biggest rumor is that these batteries degrade super duper fast. I'm gonna be presenting just actual data, not my personal opinion. With all that said, I'm about to drop a huge bombshell on your head. The 50S batteries last longer than 50E batteries. What do I mean by this? Let's find out. This is Wheel Good Time. Now the 50S battery is supposed to be both high capacity and high performance. It has a nominal capacity of 5,000 milliamp hours, just like the 50S. The biggest difference is that it's supposed to be able to output 25 amps per cell compared to the 50E battery, which is able to put out only 10 amps per cell. The problem that people are seeing is that after 250 cycles, the 50S battery is supposed to only have only 60% of its life cycle remaining. So that's 2,940 milliamp hours. That raises a lot of alarm bells for some people. They say, why would I get something that might have good performance, but it's not gonna last? I need to stick with the high capacity batteries that are actually going to last. I don't wanna be riding my EUC for a few hundred miles or a couple thousand miles, and then all of a sudden they have only 60% of their battery life left. Well, let's discuss that because there's some really big asterisks in there that we need to address. So let's define some terms here. What is a charge cycle? That's when a battery is depleted from 100% to zero and then back all the way to 100%. So if you have your battery at 100% and then discharge it by riding down to 80% and then charge it back up to 100%, that's only 0.2 charge cycles, not one full charge cycle. So that is very, very important. Now, if you do that five times, that's considered a full charge cycle according to the data. It's actually considered really bad for your EUC battery to be doing a full discharge from 100 to zero and then all the way back to 100. That is, yes, one full charge cycle, but it's generally considered bad for lithium ion batteries to be going all the way down to zero and then back to 100. That's called a deep discharge. If you look at the data sheet for these fancy new 50S batteries, it really does say that it has a 60% capacity after only 250 charge cycles. But let's look at how it was tested. It was discharged the entire time at 25 amps, the maximum discharge capacity of that cell. And then it was charged at the max capacity, which is six amps for the 50S. Now let's look at the 50E data sheet. This one here says that it'll have 80% capacity after 500 charges, but it's only being discharged at half of its max capacity at 4,900 milliamps. So we're comparing apples to oranges here in so many different ways. And frankly, I'm not sure why they tested it this way, but they're discharging the 50S at its max capacity, but then they're discharging the 50Es at only half their max capacity. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense and kind of makes you go, hmm. So when you compare the two, the 50S and the 50E, which one of these two is gonna be lasting the longest if they're discharged at the same rate? Let's take a look at these charts now. Both of these charts indicate the same thing. The 50S battery is better in terms of longevity for its life cycle compared to the 50E. It's not a huge difference, and you can see that through all of these discharges that the lines tend to be getting closer and closer and closer together. But the fact remains, 50S batteries last longer than 50E batteries. There is no question when compared to the lab tests. Now remember, you have to compare apples to apples here. We're discharging them at the same rate, not 25 amps compared to five amps like the data sheet shows. Now let's look at some real world scenarios. Let's take the patent for example. This wheel is a 4P configuration for its batteries. If you put a 50S battery in there, it's gonna be able to do a consistent discharge rate of 100 amps. Now that's gonna be completely impossible to sustain. Eventually, you're going to cut out from acceleration that much. Yes, you're gonna be probably getting close to it sometimes here and there very, very, very occasionally and for very short spurts when you really stomp on it. But that's where the 50S battery really comes into its own. 
That's what it was designed to do. It's supposed to be able to dump that energy absolutely as fast as possible so you don't cut out. So as far as safety is concerned, the 50S battery is far better than the 50E battery. Now let's look at EUC World for one of the rides that I did. I was going between 60 and 75 kilometers per hour the entire ride. So I wasn't doing a whole lot of hard accelerations and braking. Now, if you take a look at the amount of current that's being drawn at that speed, it's really not that much. Simply put, 100 amps is not something that you're gonna be able to do at all times. You're gonna be able to just spike it and then that's it, that's all it's gonna be taking. The bottom line is this, there is no conceivable scenario where you're gonna be using all 100 amps on an EUC at that time. And therefore, the battery longevity is really not gonna be affected. Now let's dispel the next rumor. Some people say that the 50S battery tends to run hot. Well, let's find out what causes the heat to happen in a lithium ion battery. Heat buildup happens from internal resistance and the 50S battery has lower internal resistance compared to the 50E. That's why it's able to dump out 25 amps consistently compared to the 50E's 10 amps. It's because it has a lower internal resistance and the higher your resistance, the higher the heat. Therefore, the 50S battery is actually going to run cooler than the 50E. To get scientific, the 50E battery has 35 milliohms of impedance compared to the 50S battery, which has 14 milliohms of impedance. If you do 35 divided by 14, guess what the number is? 2.5. Isn't it a little strange and ironic that the 50S battery is able to put out 2.5 times more current than the 50E? Hmm. So if you've already gotten EUC with 50S batteries and you're thinking, I think my cells might be degrading. Even if your cells have degraded, they will still be charging to 100%. So if you have a 134 volt EUC, it will still charge to 134 volts. But the difference is you're just gonna have decreased range. That's it, that's all there is to it. When vendors such as eWheels were really pushing the vendors to put 50S batteries in their EUCs, a lot of these manufacturers, they complied, but they kind of did it kicking and screaming. They are saying, oh, we don't need to do that. Well, have you wondered why they might be saying that? It's cheaper for a 50E battery to be bought than a 50S battery. That's the one drawback to a 50S battery is that the price is definitely gonna be just a little bit higher and the manufacturers don't want to be taking on that cost. So instead, they're putting that cost onto you. So in short, every single test has shown that 50S batteries are better than 50E batteries. There is no comparison. The 50S is in every single metric, except price, every single metric better than 50E. There is no doubt. Look at all these charts that say the exact same thing. Look, the red line is gonna be the 50S battery, and then there's all the losers behind it. The 50S red line battery is better and outperforms every single battery for every single test, period, end of story. What does this mean for you as the consumer? Well, it means that you're gonna be able to ride more safely at higher speeds, but on top of that, you're gonna have a lot less voltage sag. So when you're going at 30 miles per hour with 10% battery, that's gonna be a big risk when you're riding on a 50E battery. But with a 50S battery, it might be a little bit of a risk, but it's not nearly as much of one. It's gonna be a lot safer because your battery voltage is sagging a lot less. In conclusion, the 50S battery is the bee's knees. It is the cat's pajamas. It is the best of the best for the price tag. You don't have to believe me. I don't really care if you don't believe me. Trust the data, trust the experts, trust the people that actually perform these tests in a lab, and trust eWheels for paying for an independent lab to have this done. They didn't have to do this. If you're in the market for a new EUC, check out the video description for lots of discount codes and affiliate links, which directly help support the channel. And most importantly of all, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you need to do so, and here's why. If you don't, I will be very disappointed. I won't be mad, but I'll be very disappointed. Please don't disappoint me. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.